Hello and welcome everyone to this new video on fourth order Runge Kutta method for solving an initial value problem of differential equation. So, first let us take a look into this iterative formula. Suppose we have an initial value problem which is of the form dy dx equals to some function of x and y with some initial conditions. So, this iterative formula of RK4 it looks something like this that in the n plus 1th step of yn is given by the nth value of y plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 times k2 plus 2 times k3 plus k4 where k1, k2, k3 and k4 are given by some equations like this which are all iterative uh, formulas. Okay, Here something important to note is that we are finding the value of k1 completely in an independent manner. For finding the value of k2, we are utilizing the value of k1 that we have found out in the previous step. Similarly, for finding k3, we are using the value that we have found in the previous step. And for finding k4, we are again using the value of k3 which we have found in the previous step. So, we can see that all these formulas are interlinked. We cannot find any one of them until we find the previous ones. So, once we have found out k1, k2, k3 and k4, we are going to plug in those values in this main iterative formula to get the value of y. Okay, And we are going to run this iteration as long as we do not reach our required value. So, let us take a look into a problem. Let us say we are going to solve this differential equation dy dx equals to 2x plus y squared given that when the value of x is 0, the value of y is 1 and the step length h is 0 0.1, we need to find out the value of y when the value of x is 0 0.2. So, we can understand that we have to do two iterations over here. Why two iterations? Because when we are going to do the first iteration, the value of x is going to get incremented from 0 by the step length h. That means x1 value is going to be x0 plus h. So, that is going to be 0 plus 0 0.1. So, the first value of y that we are going to get is for x equals to 0 0.1. Again, we will use the same iterative formula to increment our value of x by h again and we will get x value to be 0 0.2 and the corresponding value of y is the thing that we need to find. So, let us see how this method works out. So, here we have the function as 2x plus y square which is the RHS or the right hand side part of the differential equation. x0 is 0 which is this value and y0 is 1 and the step length is 0 0.1. So, with these information we start our RK4 method. So, given this information first the first thing that we need to find is the value of k1. After that k2, k3, k4 and finally we are going to plug in those values to find out the value of y. So, as we know the k1 the formula was h into function of x and y n. Now, this is the calculation which we are doing for n equals 0. Okay? So, this is our very first iteration step. So, n value is 0. So, obviously these two are x0 and y0. Now, what is the value of x0? That is already 0 and y0 that is 1. So, it becomes function of 0 comma 1. So, now we are going to plug in the value 0 in place of x and the value 1 in place of y in the function. So, once we plug in those values, our function is going to look something like this 2 times 0 that is 0 plus 1 squared that is again 1. And after this multiplication, we are going to get the value of k1 as 0 0.1. Similarly, now we are going to apply the formula for k2 and obviously taking n equals 0. So, this is how the formula looks like as I have already stated before. Now, h by 2, h by 2 that value is going to be 0 0.1 divided by 2. So, we are going to have 0 0.05 and the value of x0 that is already 0 over here, y0 is 1 and k1 by 2 that is basically half of the k1 value which we have got over here as 0 0.05. So, this becomes f of 0 0.05 comma 1.05. Now, the moment again we plug in these two values in place of x and in place of y, it becomes h times 
h times 0 0.1 times 2 into x, so 2 into the value of x plus y squared, so y value squared. And after we add them, we get the value of k2 as something like this. And similarly, we are going to proceed with k3 and k4 in an exactly similar manner. So you can just pause the video right here, use the formulas and find the value. Then again, play the video and check with your, with your answer whether it's correct or not. So I hope you have done that and I'll continue. So k3 value again, now this is the formula for k3 as I had already mentioned before that for finding k3 we would require the value of k2 and x0 value is still one, 0 and y0 is 1, h by 2 that's still 0 0.05 just like the previous calculation and k2 by 2 is basically half of the previous value that we have got which is something like this and if we add them up and then put them in the function in place of x and y then this is how the function looks like 2 times x plus y value whole squared and if we add them then this is the value of k3. In an exact similar manner we proceed to the value of k4 and this is the formula of k4 it's a bit different than the previous two it's x0 plus h and not h by 2 and y0 plus k3 and not k3 by 2. Okay, so this is something we need to remember. So again, x0 value is 0 and y0 value is 1, h value is 0 0.1 and k3 is the exactly the previous value that we have got. So once we add them up, these are the x and y values that we need to put in the function. And once we put them in the function, it looks something like this, 2 times the value of x over here plus the value of y whole squared. And once we add them up, this is the value of k4. So once we have got the value of k1 up till k4, now we are going to use the main iterative formula of rk4, which is yn plus 1 equals to yn plus 1 by 6 times. These are the values that we need to add. We need to make sure that the uh, coefficient of k2 is 2, the coefficient of k2, k3 is also 2, and the rest 2 have coefficients 1. So the sum of the coefficients is 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1, that's 6, and that's divided right outside. So now once we plug in the values of k1 to k4, it looks something like this, 0 0.1 is the value of k1, k2 value over here, so we are plugging in all the values of k1, k2, k3 and k4 and once we have put in all the values, if we add them up, then this is the value of y. Now remember, this is not our final answer. We have got this value of y corresponding to the x value as 0 0.1. That means corresponding to x1, we have got the value 0 0.1, right? x0 was 0. We have incremented it. Uh, with respect to that, we have got this value, okay? So this is the value of y bracket 0 0.1, which means corresponding to x equals to 0 0.1, we have got the value of y and we are calling it y suffix 1, okay? Now we need to again increment another value of x, make it 0 0.2, and then find the value of y suffix 2 and that would be our final answer, okay? So this is just the answer after completing the entire RK4 for the first iteration. We have just completed the entire first iteration. Now moving on to the next iteration. So for the next iteration, now the function remains same, obviously. The x1 value has been incremented by h and the x1 value is now 0.1. The y1 value is the one that we have found out just now, which is this value and the h, the step length remains same. So again, we are going to follow the exact same process with these values. Now our n value is going to be 1 and we are going to use the rk4 for n equals 1. So now we start with k1 once again. As I told you, n value is 1. So we have x suffix 1 and y suffix 1. Previously, we had x0 and y0. So now the value of x1 and y1, we already know that x1 is 0 0.1 and y1 is this value. So once we plug in these two values in the exact same function again, then this is the calculation that goes on after that. And finally, we get the value of k1 proceeding exactly in a similar manner, taking n equals to 1. We are going to find out k2 value, k3 value and k4 value. So I'm just going to quickly go through those slides. You can again pause the video and find the values and then resume the video. I hope you have done that and I'll continue. 
So, K2 again the same formula just x1 and y1 in place of x0 and y0 if I compare it with the previous iteration. So, x1 is 0.1, y1 is this value, h by 2 remains same which is 0.05 and k1 by 2 is the half of the previous value that we have got. So, once we do the calculation, then this is the calculation that we get and the final answer is this 0.17278 and that is the value of k2. So, moving on, we go to k3, the same formula just k instead of k1, now we have k2 by 2. So, if I plug in the appropriate values, then this is how the function looks like and once we add them up, then this is the value of k3 that we get. Again, moving on to k4, k4, we have this formula. Now, remember I told you that k1 and k4, these two formulas are a little bit different than k2 and k3. We don't have the by 2s over here. We don't have h by 2 and k3 by 2. So, again, we plug in the required values and the calculation follows. And finally, we get the value of k4 as 0.20847. So, now we have got the value of k1 till k4 for the second iteration that we have done. And again, we are going to now use the main iterative formula of RK4, plug in the values of k1 to k4. So, now we have taken n as 1. So, obviously, it is not going to be y0, it is going to be y1. And we are getting the value of y2 in terms of y1 and k1 to k4. So, once we plug in all the new values, okay, these are the new set of values of k1, k2, k3 and k4, okay. So, once we plug in all these values, this is the calculation that follows and we get the final answer as 1.29728. So, remember we have got this value of y corresponding to x value as 0 0.2 and this is our final answer that we have got. Okay, so this is the final answer that corresponding to x equals 0 0.2, the value of y is 1.29728 using RK4 method. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you. Have a nice day.